Come on, that's not it wrong. <laughs> that is a no, 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 no. It's not every day red on the lips, blue on the eyes. I don't know about you, but I feel like for me, I will feel very incomplete. Like. <laughs> Hi guys. 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 Welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again to watch my video it means so much i hope you're subscribed Sha. and if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch it i hope you like what you see that's not wrong <laughs> if you like what you get on this channel and you're able to subscribe and keep coming back for more today i have something exciting for you guys by the title of this video you already know what it is i'm really excited to be doing this video and i hope you like it without rambling too much let's get right into the video this video is going to be five is it five Sorry if I'm looking down because like I made notes, right? I'm going to be giving six is this yeah six tips on how to look expensive in your twenties. And I know that obviously not everybody's looking to everybody not if I'm a bit <laughs> Some people be like, eh, what's my business? Like, why do I want to be looking expensive? I just want to, you know, dress nice, feel nice, and go out and stuff like that. But, like, there are also other people who would really like to know how to look expensive in their 20s. So, if you are that person, this video is for you. And if you're not that person, maybe share this video with your auntie, your, your, I said uncle, ah, share this video with your auntie, your sister, your cousin, somebody. Because if this video is not for you, then surely somebody close to you or somebody you know or somebody you're familiar with will be looking for something like this there's love in sharing so share it with somebody but the first tip is to dress in blacks whites and neutrals you could never go wrong with them if you're ever in doubt you don't know what to wear you're looking for pieces to put together wearing a plain white tank top and wash jeans mom jeans will do the trick you didn't even overthink it and you already look very clean you already look very put together you could never go wrong with just wearing neutrals or wearing whites and wearing blacks and that would instantly elevate your look the second tip would be do not leave your house with wrinkled fits don't leave your house with anything on your body wrinkled point blank period do not leave your house with unironed clothes like just don't that is a no 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 first of all are you a mad woman or are you a madman i need to answer i i won't really let you answer because why why the hell are you leaving your house with clothes that you haven't ironed regardless of how nice that outfit is or how good the fabric is or whatever or the quality is because you have not deemed it fit to steam your outfit before stepping out of your house you've literally gone from here to here like you've literally gone from wherever you were in the first place <laughs> maybe when you picked out the outfit you're just like mm, this outfit is really looking good and then you now decided to wear it you now decided to leave your house without ironing the outfit like you in fact you've just lost it like that is the beginning of your you're just yeah let's just leave it at that third tip will be jewelry 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 is so important i do not care what you have to say you know jewelry is not really my thing or and uh, jewelry is not the, 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 the guy jewelry is important you can have on like a really cute outfit and then have no jewelry on i don't know about you but i feel like for me i will feel very incomplete like the outfit is not complete i was having a conversation with my friend they're really talking about how like she wants to really start getting into jewelry and i was really encouraging her to do so because you know it just makes sense and then she was just like okay yeah 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 and then she started building her collection she was just like oh my god that she cannot believe how much her outfits have just looked so much better these days with her jewelry because she never used to be like a jewelry person she never used to care about putting jewelry on with her outfit if you don't wear jewelry i don't know how you be 
I don't know how you're doing it. You look like the locks babe that you're meant to look like. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You can either be like really simple with whatever pieces you choose to put on and you just still look nice and clean but then you can also stack your jewelry that one is like the dicey part because you can look nice if you stack it the right way you will definitely look nice you will definitely still look very put together and very clean but if you now stack up your jewelry in the wrong way you look tacky as hell you look cheap every piece that you put on your body like everything that you stack on has to make sense like they have to like come together they have to make sense together do you hear what i'm trying to say when you stack your jewelry up the wrong way you will just look like you're doing too much you could either have this thing where it's like if you know that you have like a very like your earrings are just doing too much then you have nothing on your neck or if you know that your neck piece is doing too much then you try and do less with your earrings you get what i'm trying to say you can you could have that rule which is something i feel like has also worked for me you could definitely incorporate jewelry into your fit into your outfit which will really elevate the way you look but we also have to be careful not to go and stack it up the wrong way and we'll just defeat the purpose because would not be looking cheap while we are trying to look expensive the fourth tip is incorporating designer pieces into your regular outfits and when i say this i feel like honestly you could have like the most when i say regular outfits like you could have like the most basic outfit ever still looking nice though it still look nice it's still a very well put together outfit but like it could be from like the most basic place and then you incorporate like a designer piece it could be a scarf it could be a purse it could be um slides whatever it will instantly bring the whole look together to give your look that elevation to make you look expensive an alternative if you're somebody who doesn't really see the need to buy designer items is buying dupes now there's a difference between buying dupes and buying replicas replicas is like you're literally going to buy from people who had intentions to replicate lv product you know they had intentions of deceiving people and you have intentions of deceiving people too but buying dupes is for example you see this purse in zara and it looks exactly like the um, Bottega bags or you know and you're just like ooh that purse is nice and it looks like the Bottega one and you know but everybody knows it's Zara like not everybody will know but like obviously you don't have the intention that's not what you you don't intend to deceive anybody about what it is or what it's not you get what I'm trying to say so that's the difference between like replicas and dupes and Zara as a brand does not replicate stuff replicate other designers like LV and the other designers just to deceive people they just do dupes because they find that these designs are really in now that's what's trending right now people would really love to get this but not everybody has the money not everybody can afford to get this at that price so why not create something similar but at an affordable price that's what they do do you get what i'm trying to say i just got one of my heels to give you an example like this green heels i love it so much this is an example of like a bottega heel right this um like this straight edge at the end of the heels the um the detail here we first i mean i let me speak for myself i saw this first with a bottega heel and i guess this was what zara was going for if i were to wear like my regular ass outfit my regular ass white tank top and a wash jeans or a silk set or whatever something nice and i wore these heels we're looking like a an expensive babe a rich bitch People will just assume that maybe this is Bottega, but nobody actually knows if it's Bottega. I said they come to ask you, oh, excuse me, where are your heels from? My fifth point would be makeup. Just like the point I made with jewelry, less is definitely more when it comes to your makeup. Keep it simple, keep it clean, keep it neutral. It's not every day red on the lips, blue on the eyes. Everyday makeup routine should always be a clean beat if you want to look expensive. Then finally, the last tip is oversized clothing items. It depends really. If they are right for your body type, you know, if you, if you wear them the right way, you'll look very clean you look very put together and i'm going to put some images just to give an example 
but if they're not right for your body type and they're just like you just don't put them together the right way you will look funny you will look like you are swimming inside I say swimming in <laughs> you look like you're swimming inside those fits oversized clothing items could definitely elevate your look if done the right way. okay and yeah that was my final point and all i have for today's video i hope these tips were really helpful thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video <laughs>